All right, so good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello, Angel. Hello, How are you, sir? teacher. Hi, teacher. Good night. Did you have the chance to rest over the weekend, everyone? Oh, well, I rest a little. <laughs> Just a little. All right. So, but uh, so you, you have the day off yesterday, Angel? Did you have the you day mean? off yesterday? Did you have the day off yesterday, sir? Yes, 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 yes. Nice. But I went to the cemetery. <laughs> so you went to the cemetery? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To put flowers oh, to the family. But, but there were just a few people over there, right? Yeah. So, so that's not compared, a... you know, compared to, to prior years. So uh, you would say that it was just a uh, very few people over there. Yeah. All right. So, and I'm assuming that you went by yourself. So you didn't go with your family or anybody else in there. No relatives yeah. allowed. I think it was this was for uh, for the pandemic because exactly. many people lost uh, lost the families and for the reason can go can go there. Yeah, you're right. All right. So one big question to everyone: Do you happen to know what's going on right now in the United States? What makes mm -hmm. this? Uh, I mean, tonight so special. In the election, the president. Yeah, presidential elections. Do you have any predictions or anything that you would like to say about that? <laughs> well, <laughs> you don't like to talk about, you know, politics. I don't, I don't want to know that Trump is going wings. I don't want to <laughs> talk wings because, well, I think so good that I'm uh, a bad person in the United States. All right. We'll see, right? We'll see. Before this class, I was just watching NBC News to see, you know, to keep yeah. track of. In this moment, I'm watching the CNN. Correct. That's great. All right, so what about everybody else? Uh, so how, how are you doing, everyone? So what's the emergency treating you? You know, how is emergency treating you like tonight? You know that we're under an emergency, right? What, what is I hope so. Yes, I mean, hopefully not, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so don't, don't go inside this hurricane because I huh, have yes. more problems. You know, hopefully God is not going to allow us to go into one more disaster, okay? Yeah. Yeah, apparently it's this hurricane, uh, Ita, right? Coming from the uh, Atlantic Ocean all the way through uh, Nicaragua and then Honduras. Honduras he's, going yes. to, he's going to hit us apparently tomorrow. They say tonight, but you know, we're not 100% sure about that. In Nicaragua, in this moment, he's inside of Nicaragua. Uh, if you can see in the, in the map. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. So, you know, cross our fingers, it's cross our fingers and let's pray that <laughs> nothing, you know, nothing terrible happens because we, we've been, yeah. you know, uh, through too much already. A lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, we have lot. enough, you know, we have enough already. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But not enough class, you know, not enough class. That's the <laughs> and you know what? That's the topic for tonight. We're going to be using uh, some comparing some grammar, uh, I would say structures and everything. You're gonna guys, everyone, you're gonna have the opportunity to see how to compare stuff like people, sports, uh, the weather, you know, your past, your future, your jobs, uh, your wife, you know, husband, <laughs> everything, <laughs> pretty much it, you know. So that's, that's, okay. that, that's the plan for tonight. So okay. let's go straight. Let's go straight to the business here. So let's try not to waste, uh, you know, some time. Let's see who's in here. Let me just call the roll. And it's uh, so you, Mr. Angel Arevalo. I have a yeah. Galaxy A10. Who's this one? <laughs> then I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Huawei. Uh, <laughs> it's a weird name. <laughs> okay, Alex. Uh, let's see. I'm also having uh, Brenda, Edgar. Mr. Mangandi is in the house. Mr. Miss Hilda Contreras. Nice. Karen <coughs> Unice, Karen Gandames, <coughs> Carla, Miguel Franco. But I, I see that, you know, most of them are very quiet tonight. You know, I haven't heard your voices, everyone. <laughs> but that's okay. 
Hello, good evening. How are good evening, you? Good evening, sir. Yeah, great. You know, given the circumstances, the you know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, have, it, you know, it hasn't rained yeah. at, at all over here. Um, it's been very yeah. windy, very windy. Um, yeah. Yes, very yeah, windy. Yeah, it's, it's and you know, I think that's helping kind of us. Yes, it's kind of, kind of chill, you know, kind of chilly. I think that's yeah. helping, you know, it's, it's like two opposing forces. You have on, on one hand the, yes. the winds and then the, uh, this tropical storm, the hurricane, you know, threatening us, but we'll see what happens, you know, so hopefully not then. Okay. Awful happens. Yes, yeah. some mountains help a lot. <laughs> Correct. Yes. So November the 3rd, presidential night, you know, and we're here in class. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's the attitude, you know, that's the attitude. All right. So the word of the day or the word, the word of this evening. So I have a picture, you know, tonight I have a picture for this. Okay, it's an image. And this one sometimes, and remember this, sometimes we are on, teacher. yes. <laughs> sometimes we are under a lot of pressure, okay, that we tend to lose our temper, lose our mind or our patience with our relatives, your children, your wife, husband, brothers, sisters, etc. Since, as you know, and this is a true fact, our house or our home has become our office, okay? <laughs> it has become pretty much everything, right? So, so there's no difference between, between your, your job and, and then the, uh, your house. No, the, the two have become one. And here in El Salvador, we suffer from a lot of, uh, I would say, problems. And one of them is not having enough space at home. Okay, so tonight my class and the class hopefully will go through that direction. Okay, so we're gonna, so this is the opportunity for you to talk to your friends, I mean, to your classmates, and share your situation. So, how you feel? Okay. The Portuguese guy will also have his opportunity. <laughs> yes, so the, uh, so if you feel burned out or tired, and I don't know, worry because of so many things happening at the same time, you know, here in El Salvador and also uh, in the region. So we have this phrase for you, to fly off the handle. And that's uh, its less common way of saying to lose one's temper or to get very, very angry. Okay. So don't be that guy. Don't be that person. Okay. But sometimes we are, right? <laughs> okay. So don't you think that sometimes, you know, we lose it, you know, we lose our, 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 our temper, you know, and, and uh, so that's the idiom for tonight. All right. And your manners. Yes. So to fly off the handle. And I have this, this image that I think is going to help you understand the concept in a very visual form. So we have, I'm sorry, I flew off the handle at you yesterday, but I was having such a bad day. Okay. So if your uh, relatives, your beloved ones are having a very bad day, so try to be patient, okay? So that, I would say this is uh, tonight's lesson. So, and okay. the, this is the idiom, by the way, to fly off the handle. So, which means in Spanish, I have some translation for you, everyone, because I, I don't okay. want to stop, I, I don't want to stop, you know, this too much, but, you know, but, but the idea is for you to learn, you know, how to use it. In Spanish, that would mean perder los estribos, sacar de las casillas o sacarse de las casillas, perder el control, ponerse como loco. You know, that's, this, this is different depending on the country you live in. Yes. Y salirse, salirse de las cabales. I think here in El Salvador, we use sacarse de las casillas, right? O, also, uh, perder los estribos. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. And the last one too. Salirse de las cabales. Yes, you're right. So if you say, uh, so don't make me fly it off the handle, that means no me hagas perder la cordura, la razón, los estribos, etc. So if I were you, you know, I would have this in my mind. So try to store it, you know, try to uh, keep it in your mind and say, so don't make, don't make me get mad or don't make me angry, you would say, or to fly it off yeah. the handle. But if you say my dad, you know, uh, flew off the handle yesterday, I would say, perdió los estribos, okay? Or you can also say easily, he wow, lost it. Wow, for this reason. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> children, right? Correct. 
for, so for the traffic uh, yes. for the for the traffic yeah. right yeah that's correct for the traffic all the all the drivers crazy yeah they start warning, drivers. Right? <laughs> they start yeah, to yeah. warn it right and to yeah. and to whistle to whistle the mother you know <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy yeah <laughs> that's crazy but this is new so write it down it might help you in the future okay so try not to fly off the handle okay or lose your mind okay. lose your temper lose the patient okay or get mad it's okay you know but <laughs> because we're human it, if you have the chance to uh or if you already had the opportunity to complete the platform you know from beginning to end or if you're just in in the last two uh lessons i, I think did. yes i think you already that's great i think you already completed the lesson three and if you notice it's time for a change so that's the one i got right. the certificate already you got the certificate already so you you're already a graduate man right <laughs> nice <laughs> I <think it's> moment. <laughs> yeah you know i'm talking to professionals over here <laughs> okay so in this unit <laughs> as you could see here so we, we're going to talk about a reality houses and apartments all right yeah so here in el salvador Unless you're rich, or if you're a congressman, diputado, or if you're a politician, you live in a very different house. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a working man or woman, okay, you have the blessing, you know, to five or to, or to earn, you know, a living every single day. And that happens to you, and that happens to me, okay? And that's the reason why we're over here, because we want a better future for you, your family, and your children. Am I correct, everyone? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's at <laughs> least that's that's the the ideal. You know. <laughs> yeah. At least that's our dream. You know? <laughs> the government too. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want you to do something, okay? And <laughs> grab your cell phone or grab your tell your uh, brother, your sister, your mom, or your or your uh, I don't know your husband, anybody at home, to get you a pencil or a, a piece of paper and get a mental image of this and i'm going to move this screen at all okay and what what you gotta do is just so see these adjectives if you don't know the meaning of course you can look them up in in you know in the web but i can also help you out. but i'm gonna go very quickly you know one by one and see if you actually know what they mean what you gotta do is simply write a p next to the adjective if you think it's positive and then if okay. it's negative that's it yeah all right okay. so don't tell me right now because you're supposed to do this you know individually so just so try to make a this is a, like a reflect a reflection point okay okay so the first one is bright next one bright. comfortable you can say comfortable it's like the o the o does no sound at all don't say comfortable. Don't say comfortable. Don't say comfortable. No, don't say that, please. <laughs> yeah, comfortable. 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 And comfortable. the next one, the next one is convenient. 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 Try to make the V, not the B. You know, better burro, no, right? Convenient. So convenient. convenient. All right. Convenient. Then this one is cramped. 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 Cramped means. Cramped. Like a, there are too many things in a very, I uh, would say, reduced or a small space. Okay, so oh, you don't really? you don't fit in like yeah, my no. like my living room or my uh, bedroom over here. Okay, <laughs> a lot of boxes. Ah, yeah, cramped is como bien. I would say this in Spanish topado. Okay, okay. Estrecho. Yeah. Topado. Estrecho. <laughs> if you if you are like. Uh, <laughs> If you are like uh, someone who travels by bus, who, who commutes, so you know that these uh, workers, Trump. you know, these bus, bus collectors, cobradores, you know, they ask, you know, topes, 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 you know, that you, you're working <laughs> right? So, La, so pura, you know, sardina. pura sardina. Pura right. sardina. Yes, the, the cans, the cans of food like, like, like sardine and everything, you know, tuna, they, they are cramped. Okay. Uh, really? Yes. It's more than crowded. Crowded is like yes. Crowded is like the bus when every when everybody gets a seat. But cramped is ah lleno. Yes, topado, yeah. you know. <laughs> topado. 
reventado, you know. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, unfortunately in our country, Dangerous. yes, in our country, you know, some neighbors, we know where we have to live and survive are dangerous, you know. Yes. Dark. Mm -hmm. it, dingy. 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 It's, 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 I would say, like dairy, but more than dairy. Oh, really? Yeah. Something. Oh. You know, it's stingy. It's like Don Cangrejo, if you're familiar with the program. You know, stingy. <laughs> okay. Codo. Yeah, codo, you know, codo. Tacaño. Tacaño, <laughs> correct. And then we have expensive, all right? Expensive, expensive. huge. Huge for us is a dream, you know, having huge houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inconvenient. Inconvenience. It's yeah. the opposite of this one. Modern. Yes. Like, for example, uh, I would say Plaza Mundo, a Popa, apparently it's going to be modern. Uh, the, 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 the wall, yeah. Yeah, un comercial ahí, uh, Noisy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, noisy, like, like, a, like, yeah. like if you hear right now the noise in the background over here at home, yeah, so it will be a little bit noisy. So I, I apologize yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yes. So private, uh, sometimes it's not private. You see that some somebody is hammering right now. If you hear that the noise of the hammering, it's my it's yeah. my it's my son, you know, who's playing right now. <laughs> yeah, true. It's true. <laughs> Next one, quiet. All right, safe, shabby. Shabby means it's I would say similar as dingy, but it's in a very higher level of uh, something used. I would say gastado or de gastado. Okay, something shabby. Oh, yes. My pants. Yeah, yes, correct, correct. Like like oh, pants, okay. correct. Or or I don't know, like like shoes, like walls. Shoes, shorts, or correct. The socks. <laughs> socks too, mm -hmm. correct, correct. Like a lot of holes, right? <laughs> it's small, you know what, what it is, and it's spacious. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's too. Yes. Yeah. It's similar, it, uh, huge. Correct, huge, similar. Some of the adjectives are positive, some others are negatives. Okay? So, and then okay. part B, it's, you know, what actually has to do with us. So tell your partner two positive and two negative features about your house or apartment. And you will go like my apartment or my house, or like we said in Spanish, la pieza. right? Or like we say it in Spanish, right? The big table, el mesón, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so however, it's in a safe neighborhood. Yeah, we only dream about that, you know? It's <laughs> And it's very yeah. private. So what I'm going to do right now for you, my friends, I'm going to take you to the breakout rooms. And you're going to be using this slide. Uh, so be ready to get a screenshot, but I'm going to send it to you as well. And just yeah. talk to your partner. So I live, you're not, you, you don't have to say, you know, where you live. That's okay. But you will say, I live in a, I was in a small house, but it's, I would say it's private. You may say that. I don't know. Or at least I, I at least I can see that, you know, the, uh, the sky. <laughs> so something like that. So use these adjectives to describe your house. If the adjectives over here describe your house because if non adjective over here uh, actually matches your reality you don't have to use them use the one you yeah. think are, are, are appropriate or appropriate for you okay right. nice so 12 participants so far actually 11 i think yes this is the only the first part of tonight's um class and the uh, you send us this, this page you send us yeah. this page no, not yet. Uh, I always forget, you know? <laughs> I'm like uh, the politicians, you know? I promise stuff and I never, you know? <laughs> <laughs> never deliver. Yeah, never deliver. Okay. <laughs> never never gets you done. I just promise to make it great again. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's just a joke, you know? That's, yeah. just, a, that's just a joke. Besides being, besides being an English teacher, I've been... I'm also a, a social studies teacher, by the way. Okay. So, okay. yeah, <laughs> okay. that's why that's why I make those jokes. So, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Okay. okay, so just one second over here.
you know, I'm sorry if it has uh, the information of the medium in there, but there you go. You got it, right? Did you get it in, in the chat, private chat over there? Someone says yes, please, or not, if you don't mind. Was the message delivered? Yep. All right, so Robert, you don't have anybody. Let me assign to break up six. Robert Robert, can you hear me, sir? Mr. Alas, can you hear me, sir? Hello, um, yeah. Yeah, so Roberto, could you please join the uh, breaker room number six, please? Okay. All right, please. Now, let me know if you're having any issues over there. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Hello, Robert. How are you, sir? Hi. I'm fine. I'm a little late. But okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Good thing to say it over here. Um, so check your WhatsApp, please. Yeah, I got it. The work right, so, over house or yes. an apartment. Correct. So first of all, can you tell me which uh, words are positive and which ones are negative? Just tell me, bright, positive, comfortable, positive, or convenient, negative, etc. Uh, okay, bright, is positive, comfortable is positive, convenient is positive, crap, um, cramp. I, I don't know what it means. It, it means very crowded. You know uh, that there's a lot of people, or, or there's okay, not enough um, space. Mm -hmm. So that is negative. Correct. Dangerous, negative. Dark, negative. Dignity is like. Dignity. Dingy. Uh, that the uh, word is dingy. Dingy. Mm -hmm. What it means? Sorry. It means uh, very dirty, but also oh, okay. more than dirty. You know? Dingy. So it's negative. Uh, expensive. Um, it depends. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's um, mm -hmm. for me is um, if you are owner, expensive is positive. Like if you're the owner of a house, correct. Yes, yeah. correct. Yes. Huge um, is maybe comfortable. I don't know. No, huge means a very big. Okay. okay. If you That's have a, if you have, if, you, if you have a huge cell phone, yeah, for you is it might be positive, but if if you are a thief, you know, so it's like it's too visible, you know, for them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next yeah. one, inconvenient, inconvenient. Convenient um, is positive. Modern is positive. Noise is negative. Uh, private or provide. Private. Private. <laughs> private. <laughs> private. So the third one. Tercera, you know, the, the last one. <laughs> private. Okay. Next one, sir. It is uh, positive. Quite positive. Safe. Correct. Positive. Mm -hmm. Shabby. Shabby. Shabby means dairy, but it's desgastado, something that it's very used. Um, That's shabby. Negative. Negative. Right. A small, small. Negative. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's spacious. Uh, it's positive. positive. Correct. Could yeah. you could you uh, use uh, a couple of adjectives in in I would say to describe your house or your parents' house? And okay. see, and see what. Hold on, let's see. Somebody send a sign. Cut in. I'm gonna send to you Karen, so you can practice with her. All right. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. One second. You are. So what breaker room? You are in number six. Okay. There you go. You know, hopefully she's gonna join you. Otherwise. Just leave the breaker room and, and, and go back to the main station, please. Okay. Main station. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Let's see. One minute. If she doesn't respond, just go back to the main station. 
Hello, hello. Hello. So are you done practicing? I can see. <laughs> or not? I yes. Okay. But uh use positive or negative the first um yeah, that's okay. We're gonna come back to the main section and continue with the class. This was just a, a small practice, okay? All right, so I can see that most of you are already back. So let's, you know, let's move on with, with the rest of the class. That's the idea for us to advance. So um, let's see, uh, I'm gonna ask, Alex, could you help us? Could you please help us uh, describe your house or just made up, you know, make up, make up one house and tell us uh, the spot, it's comfortable or uh, etc. All right. Yeah, you know, I live in an apartment. It is uh, very bright and it's comfortable for a small, for a small family, you know, mm -hmm. or your You're wife single. and your son. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, man. <laughs> yeah. For a, for a small family, it's, it's mm -hmm. okay. It's in, a, it's in a private area. And inside here, it's, it's, it's fine. Okay. Right. Uh, only if you go outside, it's, it's um, some places a little dark. But it's right. very, very outside, you know. Okay, I appreciate that. Right. Thank you, sir. Let me just uh, ask a lady over here. Uh, I don't know, Hilda, would you like to help us? Please. Yes. Um, All right. Mm -hmm. My house is, is so dark and noisy uh, for my my son mm -hmm. uh, and it's so spacious 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 oh that's good you're you're Space. you're lucky you're a lucky one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you're blessed you're blessed that's okay mm -hmm. all right thank you Let, let's move on over here now take a look at this image I'm also going to send it to you right now because I really want you to. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes, correct. Uh, this, uh, you see this red uh, color in here. I just covered the, you know, the name where I got it from due to copyright uh, issues. Yeah, it's some, it's oh. not part, it's not part of the image. Okay, so I messed it up, but. I don't think it really makes a difference, right? <laughs> Sometimes it's my room. Yes, the bed sitting room. Okay, the yeah. bed sitting room. Yes, uh, you know, sometimes we feel identified. You know, I would say that's totally me. You know, for the mm -hmm. good or for the word, you know, for the bad. So that happens in most Salvadorian houses. Okay, and that's a problem. That's a problem. It happens in here, it happens in India, it happens. I would say in the States because the apartments are very small, small and expensive yeah. and expensive. You know, thank God here in El Salvador, you can get a room for a hundred dollars in a good, uh, I would say, uh, neighborhood. Yeah. But in the States, I wouldn't dare to say less than 500 or $1,000 an apartment with the uh, a, a regular or basic, basic, excuse me? For 18 people in apartment, really. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. So uh, share this apartment. Correct. So let me send this to you. I want you to look close to to this image, you know, and to actually enjoy what it's not really enjoy, but actually to to see every single detail. Because if I just mm. share the presentation, I don't think you're gonna be able to see all the details in there. Okay. Okay. Yes, a bed serum room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we laugh, you know, but inside we're crying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There you go. Yes, you got it, right? Yeah, Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese gentleman. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's confirm that again. <laughs> all right. So can somebody tell me, or let's say, can somebody, or maybe all of you can tell me what you see in the image in there. So anything that comes to your mind out of the adjectives. Yeah. You know, you, you know shabby means desgastado. You know, yeah, and yeah, stingy, yeah. stingy also means, uh, means dairy. But I don't think this house is dairy enough. It's just a small. That's what I think. Uh, dangerous huh? for a kid is dangerous. Uh, exactly, it's uh, correct. It's a timing bomb, you know. A bomb by tiempo. It's a timing bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right. but um, what? What would you? Excuse me. It's cramped. Cramped. It's, it's, yeah. What would you say if I told you? What happens yeah. with this social distance and then, you know, due to the uh, COVID-19? Social distance. <laughs> so what happens when you live under these uh, conditions? Okay. So kids, uh, you know, ha don't have any uh, room to play in kids. I always kids. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The privacy. Exactly. So that's what I thought, you know, it was convenient or, 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 or appropriate for us, to, for us to, 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 know, to look at this image and to stop for a second to think about this. You know, this, this is the reality for most people. And yeah. I would say here in El Sabo, you know, thank God, uh, I, I, I would say it also that maybe in your case, this is not what happens, but, uh, you know, some of our folks, you know, have to uh, live under these uh, circumstances. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So try to save it. You, you may use it for later discussion tonight. But let's continue with this. So okay. my point is, you know, okay. to give you a, to give you an overview. Hold on, please. You know, to give you an overview of um, the grammar of uh, of uh, unit three. So that's my plan here. Okay. All right, let me just, yeah, there we go. So everyday grammar as, and then you got the three dots in there or four, as, and then as, as comparison, correct. So yeah. make the pause, you know, as, as, so as, be careful over as, there. As. Be careful over there, you know, <laughs> yeah, be careful. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, be careful with it. <laughs> yes, please, be careful. So the same or different? That's the question. So have you ever had the dilemma of choosing between two things? All right, or oh, two people, two jobs, yes. two, two bus says over there. Okay, so you have nine or 31, we're in a nueve, we're in a 31, which one is safer, which one, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna get rogue. Involved. <laughs> yes, so do you tend to compare places or products? I think we do, right? So you can yes. use the comparative of equality to express these ideas, okay? Comparisons of equalities, as and as. All right? So be careful again, you know, with, yeah. with the yeah, conversation yeah. over there. So yeah, it may yeah. sound like somebody else, <laughs> like something else, but you know, that's not the case. Okay? So we have here different sports. You, yeah. There's, so I would say skateboarding, yes, it applies to the sabo. But this one, my friends, uh, American football and yeah. baseball, not really. So I think they're just a minority thing on some baseball. baseball. Yeah, I do like baseball, you know, watch it, but no, I, I'm not really a fan. So to start with our uh, speaking practice, I have a conversation between Mr. Yeah. Dean and Jenny. So Jenny is, is looking, uh, I don't really quite remember if it's Mr. Dean, who, the one who's showing the house around or the apartment around or it's Jenny. But we're going to find out, okay, that. I'm going to split you in verse again. Okay. But uh, first there of all, three I'm going- There people. Yes. And the conversation. Three people, Mr. Dean, Mrs. Dean. Yes, it's, it's a couple of spouses in there. Mr. Dean, Mrs. Dean, and Jenny. Yeah, yes. that's right. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be groups of three. Thanks for that, sir, uh, German. And we take it from there. So, but right now, let me choose. I'm going. I'm going to be choosing a lady. Let's see, Brenda, help us, please. You're going to be Mrs. Dean. Um, 
Okay. Let's see, Bobby Alas, you're gonna help us with Mr. Dean. Okay, Roberto Alas yeah. and uh, Jenny. So two ladies and one gentleman. And the next one, it's going okay. to be, let's see, someone who hasn't participated so far. Um, hold on, Karen Eunice, uh, would you like to help us? Okay. All right, so Karen, you're going to be Jenny, and then the other two, uh, Bobby and Brenda, Mr. Dean and Mrs. Dean, okay? Okay. So, Bobby, you start, sir. Okay, first, uh, hormone hunting. Um, what do you think? Well, well, <laughs> it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment, and the living rooms is huge. Um, but the bedrooms are so small, and there is nothing else closer to space for my clothes. And it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. But that apartment was dark and dingy. And it was in the in a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> Let's see if the real estate agent has something else to show us. All right, thank you so much. So as we can see, what's the picture? Let, and let me ask somebody over here german help us sir so what's the situation in here I, I i would say that it's a family am i correct sir yes it's a family yeah. they are looking for a new apartment correct mm -hmm. and, and what are the comparisons that they are making like the space safety what else well or specifically we we'll say they're comparing bedrooms for example what else Yes, they, they say um, they have as many bedrooms as the last apartment, uh, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe the, the same quantity, you know. Um, but the, the, the bedroom and, and the apartment they are uh, right now are too small. Mm -hmm. um, I so think that's, the, that's a disadvantage, last, okay, right? Yes, that's a disadvantage, and that uh, the closest space is uh, not enough for their clothes. Yeah, that's another disadvantage. Yeah, it's a lady, and I would say, Jenny, right? And I think that the apartment is um, not as cheap as the last one. Uh, yeah, um, correct. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's more expensive. And besides, the, it, but uh, the, the apartment they are at uh, is brighter uh -huh, than the last uh -huh. one. The last one was darker. Yes, the new one and, is brighter, and, really correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, the new one is uh, right in, and is in a safer uh, neighborhood. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, well, yeah, that's hope. pretty much it, right? Yes. They're hoping that the real estate agent, o sea, la gente de, de bienes raíces, that, that's why yes. over here you have an E, you know, before the S, it means bienes raíces, you know, real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Has something else to show us. Okay, so that's the conversation. I want you to practice very quickly. Let's say it in two minutes. You're gonna be uh, practicing in groups of three and try to try to switch roles. So you're uh, the Mr. Yes. Mr. D, Mrs. D, and the et cetera, Jen. Okay. Yes. So hold on. Okay. Okay, so do not join the teams, uh, the breaker rooms yet. Yeah. Or, um, actually, you can do it. I, I'm getting the screenshot to this, so I can send the conversation to you. But I, I think that some of you already got it. Okay. Very quickly. We very quickly. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sending this as we speak. So go ahead and join the uh, breakout rooms. Okay. My friends. Okay. Uh, three. Two, one, there you go. Action, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah, yeah Chavi uh, Rivas is supposed to join you, but I'm going to be Mr. Dean for you, okay? <laughs> okay. So, not okay. a problem. So, I'm going to start a conversation followed by Mrs. Dean, if you want to be, I don't know, Brenda, then Jenny, um, uh, you're, you'll be Karen. Karen, you'll be Jenny, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's begin. What do you think? Well, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Mm -hmm. And the living room is huge. But the bedrooms are too small and there isn't enough closed space for my clothes. Okay, just one second. Let me uh, send Stephanie to you. Okay. okay. Let's see, okay. we're in breaker room two. Okay. Actually, Javier, I think he just joined us right now. Oh, no. All right. No. What happens is that there are some people who join the class and then they just leave. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Sorry, so, and it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. Uh, how much is this one? And it's in, it's in but that cheap. No, but that apartment. But si but tiene la S. It was dark and dingy. Correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it, and it but was, that apartment was... <clears throat> Correct, continue, continue, and it was? Okay, but that apartment was dark and dingy, uh, and it was uh, in a dangerous neighborhood. In a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see if the real uh, state agent has something else to show us. So right now, cutting, you're going to be Mr. Dean, uh, and then Brenda, you'll be Jenny, and I'll be Mrs. Okay. Dean. So Karen, you start, please. What do you think? as as uh, many bedrooms as the last apartment and the living room is huge but the bedrooms are too small and there isn't enough clothes and space for my clothes and it's um, not as cheap and it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw no 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 that's well, that's the, that's you right my, yes. Oh, okay yes yes, yes. Continue. continue Karen. i'm sorry about that uh, it's not a cheap as last in apartment, we say. But that apartment was dark and dingy and it, and it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see if the real stage engine has something else, else this show is. To show us, right. Okay, so when it has an S after the mister, it's Mrs. Mister. Senora de. Mrs. Mrs. Or, you know, or Mrs. Miss. No, Miss, Mrs. Single. Okay. Uh, correct. Yeah. But in this Miss case, Ohio. correct. Yeah. Mears. Yes. Mrs. When you Dean. get married. When you get married. Okay. When you have uh, de, like in Spanish, de. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. All right. So let's go back to the main station. I think we, we okay, had enough. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds so everybody else gets back or come back. So, okay, you can grab some water. <laughs> you know, tell tell your tell your child or children, your son or daughter, you know, be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I was I watched this election. <laughs> yeah, so apparently Biden is winning, right? Apparently, but in, yeah. in the states. Uh, Biden, Biden got a, a nice uh, electoral vote, and uh, Trump have 50, 54. Mm -hmm. But in the States, it's a little bit, a little bit more complex. It's, it's not the same as here in El Salvador, because it's yeah. not the, the, the popular vote. In the percentage, uh, uh, Biden have 15%. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's changing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still you know, being updated. But let's... You know, let's do not worry about that yet. <laughs> we no. have to worry, we, we, you know, yeah. let's worry about that tomorrow morning, you know, just like a hangover. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not speaking yeah. out of my experience, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now take a look at this. So evaluations and comparisons. As I said, we have four types of evaluations with adjectives, evaluations with nouns, and comparisons with adjectives, and of course, comparisons with nouns. Yeah. My plan is not to overwhelm you, okay? Overwhelm you with details of this, but let's try to be as practical as possible. That's the plan. Yeah. Okay, okay, so if you wanna use enough in a sentence, it could be for a positive or a negative meaning. So you say, this room is big enough, but my story is the opposite. It's the description isn't big enough, which means that it doesn't have enough space. My point in here, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can say this, that something is bad, but you don't really have to say no or, or to sound negative. You can say this caption is small mm -hmm. and you're saying enough. that's that's bad. Or you can say this caption doesn't have enough space or this kitchen isn't big enough. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of English. You don't have to actually marry, okay, with a specific grammar. It's up to yeah. you to choose. So right it now, I just- really to say the same, the same thing. Correct. And that's why it sometimes makes it too complicated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, it's paradoxical. Right. It's paradoxical. That's how I call it. So the living room yeah. is too small. It's the same in it, or there's not enough space, or, or you know, there isn't enough close-up space. Yes. Yeah, we have to be creative, <laughs> you know, yeah. in this. See, so there aren't enough bedrooms. So why evaluations with nouns? Because the emphasis over here is that the bedrooms are not, uh, you know, are there aren't enough bedrooms. Maybe two yeah, or one bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom and the closet. And here, what's the uh, focus or the emphasis? It's in the adjective, you know, the size big or too yeah. small. Or my house is too noisy. You know, what's the emphasis on? on the adjective and what about here it's on, on the noun which is the bedroom or the specific place all right either tangible or not mm -hmm. so what about the next one you compare with adjectives you compare with nouns same thing it's not as cheap as the last apartment or i would say my cell phone is not as cheap as the last one that happens sometimes yes. okay or it's almost as cheap as the last apartment same thing. So what is the emphasis as? Una pausa ahí. Pause. Cheap as. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost as cheap mm -hmm. as the last apartment. So try to make some pauses. Mm -hmm. And then wh what about the nouns? The emphasis is bedrooms. Okay. Bedrooms again. It doesn't have as many bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have as many, uh, I don't know, something that you can count. Okay. Closets, you may say, or I don't have as many shoes as my brother. You may say that, or I that I, I don't have. <laughs> okay, so I don't have as as much money <laughs> as most people do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but that that's we don't count. But I'm not gonna go too into this because my point is that learn at least one or two ways to use this grammar in a sentence to express something. That's the key. Okay, that's the key. Yeah. But let's let's try to think that this applies to a specific example. Okay. And we're gonna compare qualities and to compare how something is done. That's pretty much it. And the example is this. Do you recognize this sport? Tell me yes, please, or not. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what yes. time it is right soccer? now. Yeah, we got soccer and this one on the right. Football. Soccer and yes. football. football. Correct, correct. Which one do you like the best? Tell me, please. Uh, For me, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Some people say that the, the football is uh, the father of the soccer. <laughs> yeah, I hear that too. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna ask you which sport, I mean, which team you prefer the most because I don't wanna get into a fight with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, you would say I'm from Musulutan, so I would go for Firpo. Yes, that was back when Misael Alfaro was a player, a keeper. No, now when he's trying to be a coach, that's a whole different story. <laughs> it's not the same. 
So <laughs> you get the joke, yeah. there, right? So <laughs> which one, which okay. one do you like? You tell me already. So which one do you dislike? Okay, but this is just a way to see how to compare to sports that I would say are, are like cousins, but cousins like in second group, second degree, somehow. Okay. But now let's take this to another uh, to another scenario. What about dogs? Yeah. Imagine you go to a, a shelter, a dog shelter. Uh, I don't think we have this in El Salvador. But let's say that you come across with Rambo. I can see the wall. Yeah, that's okay. You're not supposed to read. I mean, it's just for us to introduce this. I'm gonna I'm gonna narrate. I'm gonna narrate this to you. Okay. You and your friend. You and your friend both love dogs. So you are you are a, a dog person, okay? No porque tiene cara, verdad? <laughs> <laughs> de pocos amigos, yeah. yeah. So so you visit the shelter and go straight to the dog area. You hold and play with some of the dogs, but you soon realize you like two of them equally, and then you look at Rambo and you look at Firulais. Yes. Yes, actually, some people name their dogs Rambo and Firulais. Firulais is very common, but Rambo, I, I have seen yeah. some dogs. Your friend asks what you think of the, the two animals, and you say this. I like them both. Firulais is as playful as Rambo. You know that, right? They like to play some juguetones. So same, yeah. same quality. But what about if you want to say the opposite, unequal qualities? But what if the two dogs you met were not equally playful? Or what if you did not think the two dishes were equally tasty? Like your mom prepares, I don't, I don't know, sopa de res uh, in a very delicious way, and your Ooh. wife tries and does it better. Okay, <laughs> or the other way around. So, in, in in the case of if something is not equal as the other one, but still you want to use as as you go Rambo, is not as playful as Fidelize. Well, Fido Lies is not as playful as Rambo. Yeah. Okay. You know, Rambo is more into action, right? <laughs> Next one. Okay. And another example with Albert. Remember this. An Albert means an action. Okay. Yeah. That's it. An Albert is an action. It tells you when or how something gets done. That's it. It's all you got to know. And the same instruction. Rambo runs as fast as fear lies. They're healthy and they're playful yeah. and they, they're young. So, and uh, that's pretty much it. You know, that's what I want to say about this. You know, Rambo is running and fear lies is running. So that's why you can tell. So they run at, you know, the same speed. So as fast yeah. as. Let's continue that's over nice. here. Great. And what about if you want to use actions? Okay. We see, imagine you like pasta or you don't like pasta. So we see we didn't enjoy the pasta dish as much as the rice dish. Or you would say, well, I, 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 yes, I didn't enjoy or, mm. or I, I didn't enjoy the game as much as the food. You may say too, right? Yeah. Yes, that happens. You go watch the classical or you go somewhere else and, and then um, you make the comparison in there. So in, in this case, you use an action. I don't like... Uh, vegetables as much as uh, as I like um, beans, you may say that. Okay, etc. So now let's hear the negative form about the ducks. Fido lies, does not run as fast as Rambo. Okay, yeah. right now it's you know we're using does. Be careful with that because the previous one was runs as fast as Fido lies. That's positive. Or will be the negative. Does not run as fast as Rambo. Okay, so. In other words, you can use this yeah. with adjectives, with, with nouns, and with, uh, with actions and, and, and adverbs, but that's just grammar. So just use it, please. That's my point in here. All right? Okay. Now, right. handsome, you know, handsome activity. You see these two places in here? It's the same, uh, I would say, the, the, the two different versions of the same apartment. You have a spacious modern apartment and ultra small apartment, and I would say classic. Yeah, the first one has two bedrooms, one bathroom, very private, located outside the city, two car the garage. Is dark. Yes, it's dark. And then a hundred per month. Same price, I would say. Some features may be on the first one, the first apartment, and the other one may not have the, the same commodities or utilities. Yeah. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, etc. 
But to make this, I will say it a little bit more entertaining, and this is the structure, which you already know. Uh, we're going to uh, go to a material, and that's, I think, the last activity for tonight, because it's 8.50. I'm going to send you to this yeah. place. You'll see the, the flashcard. In total, you have 20. And your job is to try to figure out in your mind, in your head, how the same uh, sentence or the same idea would sound or would look like using enough or not enough. Okay, so we have, there are only a few windows. You have to stop and think. Okay. Enough. Uh -huh. There aren't enough windows. windows. I will say that. Let's see. Yeah, we got it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you keep on doing the same thing. It's not bright enough. You say we use two because it's negative. Okay, can, can somebody tell me another way to say this without using enough? Enough is not too bright. If it's not but enough, if it's, if it's not bright enough, what, what's the opposite of, of bright? Dark. It's, it's too dark. dark. Exactly, it's too dark. You got it. Nice, nice. <laughs> Even yeah. the Portuguese gentleman. And we continue. Yeah. My house has three bathrooms and your house has three bathrooms. And this one you have to stop to think a little bit and I'm not gonna give you the answers, okay? <laughs> because instead of doing that, I'm going to send you to the specific place, all right? Okay. Okay, hold on please. Okay. Remember you have 20 flashcards to play with, so use, use them wisely. And where am I getting this information from? From the same uh, uh, two apartments. They have one has three bedrooms, the other one does not have, one has a garage, the other one does not have a garage, etc. So bear with me just one moment. And uh, let's see. There we go. Tomorrow we're gonna continue with this because I still have one more conversation and another yeah. thing to practice with. Okay. There you okay. go. You got it right. Yeah. yeah. So try to practice, you know, individually, let's say for two minutes, go ahead and do it, please. And then let's see if I can split you up in, in, in purse so you can uh, play with your friends, okay? Yep. So try to do it, please. Uh, it, you know, simultaneously, I would say in this, at the same time, you're completing this individually and going to split, split you into pairs in case you wanna practice. Okay. So if you don't mind, uh, join the breaker room so you can still be uh, completing this by your, but you know, on your own, and then you may ask help from your classmates. Okay. Yes. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. I was just starting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have to write it down somewhere or not really, just picking. I forgot to say that, you know, just picking. Oh, okay. And now we just try to yeah. okay. there are only a few there are not uh, enough windows. Mm -hmm. There are not enough windows. What do you think about number two? Um, it's not right. bright enough. Two. But the thing is that, Karen, uh, you, you should change the. Uh, I mean, it's the same meaning, but in a different way. So okay. if it's not bright enough, okay. what's the opposite yeah. of bright? Bright. Okay. Bright Excuse enough. me? It's, it's, it's dark. Too dark. 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 It's too dark. Can you continue with that? All right. Okay. You know, this is just the beginning. I would say the tip of the iceberg. Le puede dejar ahí la espinita for tomorrow. Yes. 
and tomorrow we're gonna come back because okay. it's time to to say goodbye all right oh, okay. okay yeah you know right now okay. time yeah went by very quickly <laughs> okay thank you okay let me close the break rooms and say goodbye to everyone thanks okay okay All right, so uh, my friends, unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye and say good night. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, the hurricane doesn't uh, strike too much or, or uh, things turn out in a better way. I hope to see you tomorrow. Hopefully, class will not be canceled for us because, as you know, okay. for kids in a school, they have been canceled. Okay. Okay. Right. So, right. okay. So have a great See night. Race, okay. take her, be safe, please. And tomorrow we will continue with the uh, exercise and some other conversation. That's okay. it. All right. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good night.